All right, you've read the name of this video, so you probably already know what I'm gonna be talking about, uh, but I just wanna put a quick disclaimer out there first. I am, I, in no way, shape, or form do I want this video to come across as if I'm trying to speak negatively about Russ. I am a Russ fan. I, in fact, I'm, I'm wearing a Whit Lowry shirt, but I'm wearing the, uh, there's really a, there's really a wolf pants right now. Um, all right. Just, just in case, if you don't believe me. <laughs> oh, okay. I shouldn't be. I'm not that flexible. <laughs> but, but, there's, yeah, well, it's the other way. Fucking hell, man. I'm we I don't know. I don't know if you can actually read that or not, but I'm re I'm wearing, I'm wearing the, there's really a wolf pants right now. So yes, I am a Russ fan. Um, though that being said, I want, I want to make a few, um, I want to make a few points about what has kind of been termed the Russ strategy. And I think these are all points or at least mostly points that Russ would agree on. He may add a few things. He may alter a few things. But this is just this is just my opinion from my own personal experience with trying out the rush strategy. So if you don't know, the rush strategy is essentially that you put out music or that you put out a single one song every single week for however long it takes you to blow up. Russ did this and I think he ended up releasing like somewhere around 50 singles, something along those lines. I don't know the exact number. Someone could let me know in the comments. Um how many exact singles he released every single week. Um, but it was a damn good amount. But it's important to point out that this was not the only thing that Russ did. Um, before releasing all of these singles, he was already trying to build a fan base. He was already building a fan base. He had a, not a large fan base, but he had a fan base already um, that was at least fairly loyal to him, would actually listen to his music. And it wasn't the biggest. I think it was, it might have only been like a few thousand or whatnot. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly how large it was, but he had some semblance of a fan base at that time, at that time before releasing all of these singles. He had released, I think it was 11 albums before starting to release what he terms them as um, like one song albums, releasing a, an album a week, but that that album just being one song and there is a very fair uh point in doing so because people's um patience is so short and a lot of people will only listen to the first song or on an album they'll only listen to the first like two or three songs before quitting on it or whatnot but by releasing a single every single week people only need to listen to his song to his song once per week or whatever or whatever it may be so Russ, having been frustrated from putting out album after album without any real success coming from those albums, he eventually decided to cut back and just do an album, a single, every single week for however long that took. And in my attempt at trying to recreate the Rush strategy, I had not done this. I had released my very first song, uh, waited a month or two, and then I decided to go head first and try and do this Rush strategy. And that was without any semblance of a fan base. Uh, my first song had like a few hundred listeners, but that was just because no one expected me to rap. A lot of people didn't even know that I liked rap. Um, and then all of a sudden it was like, what the fuck? Did you hear that Kevin has a rap song out? And so people, everyone kind of, a lot of people that I knew flocked to that song, told other people. And yeah, but then that, that, that wasn't actually building a fan base. That was just people were kind of interested to see what I did on that one song. And then that did not continue over a few months later when I did try and implement the rush strategy. And so for me, uh, releasing a song every single week, it only that only every single week for me, the amount of streams that I was getting just exponentially decreasing. And towards the end with the last like, I don't know, five or six songs or whatnot, I was getting like three views and that was essentially it. Also the amount of subscribers that I, was, that I had at that time was essentially zero. It was just some friends that I knew, um, and then also, I don't know, every time I feel like every time you post a song on SoundCloud for whatever reason, a bot will follow you and then they'll unfollow you in a week or whatever. Stupid stuff like that. That was all I got out of it. So essentially, I got absolutely nothing out of that. And the main, the one key difference is that I didn't have any semblance of a fan base 
before that. It was just me trying to push it out to people that I already know, which is not a good way to grow a fan base. And it's also not a good way to really build a fan base. So if you're going to try the rush strategy and it's not the worst strategy in the world, you can do it. You can pull it off. I'm not saying that you can't do it. Um, or, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying that you might not want to do it. Or there's some things that you should probably, some su suggestions that you may want to uh, listen to before you, you know, go balls deep in this uh, this very difficult thing to do. It, it is a very difficult thing to put out music so consistently, so often. So the first bullet that I wrote down, um, and I've already kind of said this, but build yourself, build a fan base for yourself first. Build some semblance of a fan base, some people that will actually promote your music with you that will actually retweet your music or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be super big. Obviously, if it is super big, you, you're probably not going to be trying this strategy, but there just needs, there needs to be something there, some foundation for you to uh, build off of. The songs, the songs themselves, obviously this should go without, without saying, but it's, as I said before, releasing a song every week is a very difficult thing. And sometimes when you're trying to do this, you're going to release some music that's not the best. And if it's not the best, then people aren't going to want to listen to it. That should go without saying. And honestly, it's something I didn't quite really listen to myself. A lot of the songs that I was putting out during this time, they were not very good. And when you're releasing not very good songs over and over again, people are going to be less inclined to come back and listen to that next song. Beyond that, in the way that you present the song to people, you want that to come across professionally. Uh, Russ, his cover, his cover art may not be the most, um, the most out there, the most creative, but it's simple. It's nice. It looks nice. It's very presentable. It's easy to recreate, so he doesn't get keep getting like stumped on having to create this new fantastic artwork every single week. Very easy artwork to um, to adhere to each song. But it also looks professional. It looks um, it looks appropriate for the music. Um, and then also with how you present the music, it's how you uh, post it online, how you share it. Uh, obviously, you're gonna upload the music to SoundCloud, to YouTube, to wherever you're putting this music. Um, but the way that you share it on social media, the way that you share it on Twitter, on Instagram, you want that to also obviously look professional. Uh, you don't want to come across as if you're just spamming everyone. You're just constantly telling them to go listen to my song, go listen to my song now, go listen to this song, to that song. And if your Instagram feed, if every single post on your Instagram feed is just the same style cover art or the same unprofessional cover art, it's not going to go over well. Another thing, I've I already mentioned that creating music or releasing music every single week and quality music every single week is very difficult. Um, Russ has suggested that if you're going to try this or when he did it, he made sure to make a lot of music beforehand. I think he said that he backed up, um, or that he had, I think like half a year's worth of music, uh, to be released, ready to go, um, before he started putting out all of these songs. And that way, so that way, if something happens, he doesn't have to worry about missing an upload or whatnot. He has a lot of songs that he can that he can uh, release whenever he really wants to, whenever he needed to. So he had like 30 songs or whatever already ready to go by the time he started putting out music, which was another thing that I did not do. I had I had a few. I had maybe between five and ten, um, but I was also trying the strategy while at, I was at college and I did not have my recording software with me at college. So I was going home on the weekends, recording a song or two, and then doing that every single weekend. And it was not the best strategy at all when you go home and you're just trying to rush out these songs like crazy. So yeah, back up these songs if you are going to try and do this. Back up quality songs if you're going to try to do this. And Perhaps most importantly, well, I guess most importantly is the songs actually being quality, but um, second most importantly, I guess, is to make sure that you actually promote these songs. If you're just uploading music every single week to SoundCloud, it's not going to go anywhere. It's just existing. And with music, you want to do a little bit more than just exist. Every artist that's implementing a strategy as 
as you may call it, wants their art that wants their art to be heard by people, wants their fan base to grow. So promote these songs in some way, whether that's getting getting them reposted, if they're getting shared by influencers. I don't really know. I struggle with this myself. Promoting music is most certainly not my specialty. I must admit, you don't gotta roast me for it. I'm well aware. But yeah, promote your music. Find a way that will actually get this music out to more than just the people that you already know, the fan base that you already have. Find a way for this music to reach a larger audience because that's what we always want to have happen. I believe one of the things that Russ also did is that he was collab- collaborating with other artists, whether that was, I'm, I'm guessing that was mostly having them on some of his songs. So if you can get a bigger artist or even, it doesn't really need to necessarily be an, a bigger artist. It could be an artist that is also on your level or an, even an artist that's smaller than you. If they have a different fan base or um, a fan base that's close to yours, but obviously not everyone's fan base is, are, is going to be the exact same people. Um, if you can get another artist onto one of your songs, onto some of these songs, um, then that, that then that's a win. By doing that, obviously, you're exposing yourself to someone else's fan base. You are exposing your music to more people. So as I mentioned before, these are all... <laughs> that was my cat. So as I mentioned before, <laughs> these are all people that... Jesus, Penny. But as I mentioned before, these are all things that I did not adhere to when I was uh, putting out music every single week. I already mentioned it, but I did not grow in this time. In fact, I lost followers. I lost listeners, all of that. So if you're going to do, so if you're going, so if you're going, <laughs> Jesus, Penny. So if you're going to follow this strategy, please, I'm begging you. I don't want you to end up like me. Uh, kind of backtracking on your career or whatnot. Um, follow these steps, or not necessarily follow these steps, or just keep these in mind. Make sure that you're doing this in a smart way. With every strategy, there's a smart way of incorporating it, and there's the dumb way of incorporating it. Me, I went down the dumb path because I'm a dumb person sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Shut your goddamn mouth. So yeah, with that, I hope you... Uh, I hope you adhere to my warning, I guess. Russ, hopefully no one interprets this as me not liking Russ in, Russ in whatever way, shape, or form. Um, and yeah, so if you have tried the Russ strategy yourself, let me know how it went. Um, and also what, if you did adhere to these, um, if you did adhere to these uh, suggestions, do you agree with my suggestions? Are there any suggest- any other suggestions that you may have if there are any other suggestions that you may have, put them down in the comments that other people can read through those and see what else they should try and do before they try and go down this path. With that, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and welcome to the crew.